Hey, what's up guys? Kevin here from Canadian Card Pickers, and today we're going to open up two hanger boxes of Topps 2021 Chrome to see what we get. Uh, there's five packs per box, four cards per pack. Hopefully we get something good. Hanger boxes, I traditionally have been a fan of. Um, if you go back, I tried out a hanger box once. Um, and I got, I got some decent stuff. I'm going to open the cellophane on both of these. Um, but yeah, I had had a, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Yeah. There's a couple I had opened up on the channel and I think the bang for the buck is pretty decent on hanger boxes just for the odds and everything. Um, yeah, we'll see how this, how this goes. Come on, come on. Sometimes they're a little shy and they don't want to come out. And the other one. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get with the first pack. So 2021, so we're looking for, oh, I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Did I throw you there? So first up, we have Freddie Freeman. Dude uh, did really well this season. Hoping to see him kick some more keister. We have JD Martinez. Then we have, I think that's Didi Gregorius. Yeah, that's a cool looking card though, if you look. Just with kind of the silhouette there. And then from there, we have Adel Adelberto Mondesi. This is, I'm trying to remember what they call this. I think it's like an atomic refractor or something. It's kind of like a rainbow foil. It's not numbered or anything, so it's just nice and pretty. Put that there. Nice to get one, though. Got to keep in mind, there's no guarantees like in hobby boxes with these. First up, we have John Lester for the Cubs, followed by Salvador Perez for the Royals. After him, we have Max. I always, I can never tell if it's fried or freed. Um, might be fried, freed. I don't know. And after that is Wilson Ramos for the Mets. So that's pack number two. On to the third one. Let's see if we get something nice from this bad boy. Ooh, different back. Uh, we have Cody Bellinger, Byron Buxton. Then we have a Alex Verdugo. And finally, oh, we got an Aaron Judge 86 um, style chrome so it's kind of like the uh i just had some of these and i don't know where i put them uh to show you as an example is it over here no oh right here so like for instance the silver packs for like hobby boxes are like that so it's a little bit different but similar so it's not too bad though to get a nice little insert of good old aaron judge uh, all right, let's do this next one. <clears throat> so first card is Eduardo Escobar for the Diamondbacks, followed by Miguel Cabrera. He hit his 500th home run against the Blue Jays in a home game uh, in Toronto. And then followed by <clears throat> Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. And, ooh, that's a nice looking card. A Willie Castro Future Stars card. That's kind of cool how the foil is. That's neat. Just an insert, though, not numbered or anything, but still a cool looking card. <clears throat> and he's with, was it Detroit? Yeah. <clears throat> Next up, our first rookie, Luis Garcia. Then we have Patrick Corbin for the Nationals. After that, we have Charlie Blackman. Weirdest thing is when I was playing MLB The Show, I think it was, for some reason he was in the minor leagues, like relegated to the minor leagues permanently. It was so weird to see him any time I played their, I think it was their AAA team. And after him, a rookie card for Evan White of the Mariners. Put that there. All right, so wait, oh wait, was there five packs? Yeah, that's what it was. Five packs, four cards each. So that was the fifth pack. I just can't count. And I didn't even listen to myself when I told you guys. Okay, get 
out of there. So first up, <clears throat> we have Whit Merrifield. Guy's a beast. We have Alex Bregman for the Astros. I think he's a lifelong Astro player, isn't he? Yeah. Then we have Chris Bryant, <clears throat> no longer with the Cubs, sadly. And, ooh, nice! We got ourselves a Cabrian Hayes 86-style rookie card. That's beautiful. Um, where are my sleeves at? Sleeve this bad boy up. I genuinely don't know where my sleeves are. I thought I was more prepared than this this morning. Well, not morning. It's the afternoon. But where are all my sleeves? This is actually kind of weird. I always have just a whole bunch right near me. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I do not know where my sleeves are. Uh, it's a little worrisome, I guess. Oh, so strange. Um, I guess I will put it in just because it's what I got handy. I'm going to put them in a team bag <clears throat> just to avoid nasty fingerprints and stuff on him. So there's that. That's not too bad. I'll, I'll put it up. It's it's not a like, you know, god tier card, but it's still it's still a great great card to pull from a random pack to get a Cabrian Hayes. That guy's going to be worth something down the line. And Chrome always is a little little more special to people. Especially with uh, uh, Bowman Chrome. All right, first up, we have Eric Hosmer for the Padres. Then we have Braylon Marque Marquez, his rookie card with them Cubs. Then we have Masahiro Tanaka. And, oh, oh, what? No way. Nice. Another Cabrian Hayes with the atomic, like, refractor kind of style. Okay, I'm going to actually grab my sleeves because I don't want to... I don't want those things. Excuse me if I forget to cut out some of that dead air. But let's let's get these both sleeved proper. That's nice to get a Brian Hayes. Ooh, she's a beauty. And these were the ones I just bought. I, I got some top loaders because cr like chrome cards especially, which I've got this and then a future box is going to have a, a good assortment of chrome style cards as well after this video. Um, oh, jeez, don't drop them all. Uh, so I got these top loaders, which are a bit thicker, just so there's a little more play... So I don't have to uh, stress out too much about potentially damaging corners, pushing it in or whatever. All right, get her sleeved up. Remember, you got to take good care of your cards, especially if you're kind of like me, where you're it's a collection, but also you know there's some investment involved too. You know, you got to take care of this stuff. You don't want to be like some of those horror stories where the people go, you know, through their collection and they have all these poorly treated cards and then there's one and they're like that thing's worth 10 grand now great so this has been like both of these box or i guess that one box has been a cabrian hayes beauty of a box so we got bryce harper to start things off with the phillies the guy i think he was what was it the oh man i'm forgetting what the thing was that he got <laughs> Then we have William Contreras, rookie card with them Braves. Next up, we have Paul DeYoung with the Cardinals. And finishing it off, we have a Will. Wait, did we get two? One of these has to be slightly different then or something? Major League batting record. They are... We got the same card twice. That's crazy. Huh weird i haven't really had that happen especially too because that's in the like insert area <clears throat> huh haven't seen that before uh first we've got uh manny machado with the padres look at those sideburns damn next up rookie card for sam huff for the texas rangers 
Then after him is Kenta Maeda for the Twins. And, oh, beautiful, a Dylan Carlson, 86-style rookie. Nice. That's a good rookie to get, too. Dylan Carlson's up there. Although he's a, he's not part of Series 2 for 2021. Cabrian Hayes is kind of the main guy you're looking for in those. Um, but, uh, actually, let's... I don't know which one would be... I'm assuming this one is probably more exclusive than just the 86 style um all right this is the last pack of these chrome cards this has been i'm pretty happy with these I got, like some really really good rookies um you know in the insert style so first up we have wilson ramos followed by ooh mike trout then we have luke voigt prismic power and after him is Jesus luzardo future stars card so kind of two inserts in that one whoops that goes there um yeah not too bad not too bad some decent rookies just to go through them real quick sam huff two will uh william Contreras cards then we have braylon marquez evan white for the mariners and luis garcia for the nationals and then we pulled first the cabrian hayes 86 style rookie card then we got uh, the, I believe they call them, do they have the name written up on it? A chrome, it's like a chrome refractor or whatever. Something like that. Because I think they just all would be chromes. But, uh, so we got that one, the chrome refractor. And then we got a Dylan Carlson in the 86 style. Which I'll give him a top loader too. So that's a good one. Hopefully he continues to play well. And there. So yeah, there you have it, you guys. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, you never know. You never know when you do this. You know, it really, that it wasn't a too bad of a price either for those boxes. About 30 bucks or whatever, Canadian. Um, but yeah, that was, that was really good. That was an enjoyable uh, opening. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know what you've gotten or got from the uh, the 2021 Chrome. Uh, have you pulled anything good? Get yourself some Cabrian Hayes or anything like that. Let me know down in the comments. But uh, other than that, I hopefully you guys subscribe and uh, you know like the video just so people know it's good. And I appreciate all your support. Um, keep an eye out for videos. We release them weekly on Saturday mornings, kind of like kind of like your Saturday morning cartoons, but it's cards. Um, and yeah, uh, keep an eye out for more videos as we go. Um, I'm going to be doing some openings today to continue through, um, the month and have those all edited and recorded ahead of time. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will catch you guys in the next video. We'll catch you later. Bye.